Okay, let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome to Daisy's Analysis. In this video, we are going to talk about the film Daisy's by Vera Chitilova in 1966. Daisy's follows two young girls, Marie One and Marie Two, who engage in strange pranks. Finally, everything is destroyed. Can Marie One and Marie Two restore everything back? The aesthetics of this film is attractive, but the meaning behind it is more valuable to analysis. To know the meanings of daisies, we will analyze this film under the circumstance of the 1960s to 1970s in Eastern Europe. In addition, we tend to pay close attention to the last scenes of daisies, in which Marie One and Marie Two want to repair everything. Last but not the least, we will introduce the artistic trends of daisies. After World War II, Soviet Union controlled Eastern Europe. Czech fell under Soviet influence. Edward Benes established Third Czechoslovak Republic, but he belongs to the Czech National Social Party. Because of Soviet supporting, the leader of KSK, Clement Gottwald, became president and named Czech as Czechoslovak Republic during the Czech coup. Later, the Czechoslovak Republic. Change to Czechoslovak Socialist Republic. Daisies by Vera Chetilova was produced in this area. Not only Daisies, many other famous Czech films such as Loves of a Blood, Close Watered Trains, and Black Peter. Therefore, the 1960s to 1970s was known as Czech New Waves. Two reasons lead the rising of the Czech New Waves. First, FAMU. A film school in Czech cultivated a lot of young filmmakers, especially in 1957, because the environment in film school is more freedom than society. These young filmmakers were right of strong government control. Thereby, they became the main filmmakers of Czech New Waves. The second reason for the rising of Czech New Wave is that young filmmakers want to oppose socialist government control. The Czech film was nationalized by Edward Benes' presidential decree in 1945. His original aim is to keep the film financially and cre creatively independent. However, during Czechoslovak Republic and Czechoslovak Socialist Republic, film became products of communist manipulation. This is because after 1948, socialist government gradually tightened the restriction on the media, speech, even travel. So some art artists became to against the socialist government. For example, did this advocate anarchism? As a result, art combined artistic dimensions with social and political dimensions. Maybe citizens were influenced by arts and films. Plague Spring occurred, which is a mass protest in Czech. Citizens wanted more rights, yet this protest fi finally was suppressed by the Soviet, and then Czech turned to normalization. This period has extreme government control. Under this circumstance, filmmakers went into exile. A few filmmakers that remained in Czech were not allowed to make films for several years. Thereby, Czech new waves declined. Daisy is a controversial film. It is accepted by many Czech audiences and critics. Czech communism, however, rejected it because Daisy and most Czech new waves films opposed the socialist government. Consequently. Officials used the cake throwing scenes in daisies to represent wasting food, as the excuse to pull daisies from all major cinema in 1967. The scene we are going to analyze is the last scene of the film. We find this scene the most interesting part of the film. 
because the formal elements of this scene are notable. And this is the only scene that Marie 1 and Marie 2 try to do good things, unlike all of the scenes before. Let's start with Miss Song Sen. Miss Song Sen is the major part of this scene. Marie 1 and Marie 2 break into the dining room in the palace. In the room, everything is a mess. Broken plates, broken glass, cutlery, and leftover food, both on the table and all over the floor. What really stand out is their costume. The newspaper outfit with the heavy eyeliner that they wear are really unique. As we all know, a newspaper is a kind of propagandistic symbol of a country. The newspapers cover all over their bodies, which convey that they are limited by the country's propaganda. They have to follow the government's rule and do what the government wants to do. The cinematography is outstanding. Most of the shots in this scene use high angle and clearly show subjects on the table. There's a lot of close-up shots that focus on their actions and long take shots that draw the audience attention to their actions. As you are hearing it right now, it's hard to ignore the background music that the two Maries are whispering repeatedly. We will be hardworking and good. We will be happy. It sounds like a self-hypnosis or a hypnosis from the socialist government to create a false image that hard work will make it back on track. Also, in the last part of this scene, the sound of the clock ticking when they lay down on the table gives the film a sense of tension that death is coming. Let's talk about the narrative of the film. This scene seems absurd and hard to understand, but there is a story behind it. This scene display an imagination from the scene before, where they fall off the chandelier and drop into the water. It looks like they get punished because they did bad things throughout the entire film. They are trying to call for help but no one answers. That was the only way for them to end up. That means they are now drowning and will die anyway. Was there any possible way to remedy the destruction? Even if they were given a chance, at best, it would look like this. So, the scene switches from the water to the dining room, with everything in black and white, to show that this is the imagination. Marie 1 and Marie 2 attempt to fix everything based on what they did. Put the broken plates back on the table, bring the leftover food on the floor back onto the plates, and clean up the mess. There is also a sign of sarcasm in this scene. They try to be hardworking, be good people, even though it's not what they want to do. They say they are happy after cleaning everything up, even though their faces seem not. And finally, they end up being killed because of the falling chandelier. In the end, they are gonna die anyway. As film against the government's propaganda, the films of the Czech New Waves follow the cinema variety style pretending to be honest account of everyday life in order to avoid the concern of solving communist government. The films of Czech New Waves began with simple, random plots, non-professional actors, a realistic camera style, and often with recorded live music. Daisies as a late work of the Czech New Waves, although the style of the film has changed greatly, the editing, costume, art, exact, are quite personal and experimental for Vera which have already divided from cinema virality, but still cannot escape from the anti-Hollywood narrative and point of fact a new convention that has pe penetrated into the core of the Czech New Wave. 
On a broader global level, the world experienced three huge new waves revolutions between the 1940s and 1990s, and Eastern Europe, influenced by the French new waves, joined the international filmmakers who started the first period of new wave. The Eastern Europe new waves, especially the Daisies, was unsurprisingly like other new wave films, a film that harnessed the revolutionary energy of young, derived its artistry from a record of upheaval, used globalization to counter the lazy state of national cinema, and had a strong visual style. But unlike other Western new waves of the time, the Eastern Europe new waves focused more on rebellion, sexuality, and pop culture. In this context, freedom itself was defined as the survival of a more individualistic, altruist mentality within the state system, and by constructing an ideology of indifference to order. They conveyed their disillusionment with the everyday life of communist society. All in all, Czech new waves is a part of Eastern Europe new waves. To a certain extent, it can reflect other countries' film new waves, because they were all controlled by the Soviet Union. Through this, we know artists desire to oppose the control of the socialist government, which finally led to social mass protests. So we believe every film new wave is not only related to films or art, but also they have their racing reasons, which spring from society and policy, and their influences that are capable to change the society.